So I have, I, I say it's very easy to do um, economically. The policies are easy. We could do it fast. We could be back most of the way to full employment in two years. Uh, it, it would really be that easy. Um, there would be no problem with financing it. But of course, how do we get past the politics? Um, and I, the answer to that is I can think of ways in which it might be possible to actually put my program into effect. Uh, one of them is we do have an election coming up. Um, I always have to say, New York Times rules, I don't do endorsements, I'm not allowed to endor do endorsements, you have no idea which party I favor. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> the, um, um, if, uh, if it's, still, it's not a zero, it's, it's still a significant possibility if um, President Obama is reelected, Democrats hold the Senate and, this is less likely but not impossible, Nancy Pelosi is speaker again, um, then, then we get a chance for, for a do-over and, uh, and a chance to, to actually try and do the right thing. And that I think is our best, that would be the, the best scenario for doing this right. Um, there's the alternative, which is that we have uh, a Romney victory and a Republican Congress, and uh, who knows what Romney actually believes. Um, it's, in a way, his best slogan should be, uh, vote for Romney, he doesn't mean anything he's saying. Um, uh, although I, I fear, and, and there is some, his, his advisors are, are, his economic advisors are not stupid. Um, if you actually read their textbooks, they both have textbooks, which are not as good as, as my textbook with, with Robin Wells, my <laughs> wife, but, um, they, um, but they're, they, they're not that different in their analysis. If you actually went by their textbooks, they'd be calling for pretty much the same kind of things I'm calling for here. Um, but I actually suspect that there's not too much hope that Romney would do the right thing because uh, whatever, whatever he might believe, if, if anything, um, his, he won't have the free. Grover Norquist, the, uh, the anti-tax uh, uh, crusader, has said the only reason we want Romney in the White House is that he has five fingers that can hold a pen to sign the stuff we put in front of him. And I'm afraid that's the way it will be. So that's not too good. What if it's, what if it's Obama without, a, without a, a working majority in Congress, which I th is probably the most likely outcome right now, um, though all of these are real possibilities. Well, then he has to hammer on this. He has to do a Harry Truman. He has to say, these people, that do-nothing House of Representatives is what's stopping you from having a job. Uh, because I think if there's one thing we've learned uh, politically from these past, these terrible uh, three and a half years now, it is that um, pretending, uh, try, trying to, to sweep the, the realities of the economic situation under the rug, looking for bipartisan agreement where there is no bipartisan agreement, not telling the truth, about what's going wrong, that, that doesn't even work as a political strategy. You've got to hit the, hit the, hit the issues, You've got to make that case, um, and, and all of us need to make that case. We need to get out there and, and say, this does not have to be happening. This, this catastrophe that's happening in our society is gratuitous. It could be solved easily. Uh, 